it's my pleasure to make the presentation about the title of Complications and Anatomy of Botulinum Toxin Injection in Facial Aesthetics. I focus on the forehead and the carpella area. I'm Chen Ken Wang from Taiwan. When we uh, use the neurotoxin to treat the horizontal forehead lines, you can see the picture uh, is the before treatment and uh, it's the after treatment, the forehead line disappear. And what's the complication of neurotoxin in the forehead? It includes the later eyebrow elevation, we can call it the spark eyebrow or cocked eyebrow. And then the protosis, you can find the eyebrow that dropped, the protosis and then the eidetosis. The complication of neurotoxin in the forehead, uh, you can see the picture, the later eyebrow elevation and the eyelid ptosis, and the which eyebrow is more beautiful. It's the beautiful natural eyebrow, and the, it's the later eyebrow elevation, we can call it Mephisto eyebrow. The Mephisto is the bad guy. I present several cases, the complication of neurotoxin in the forehead and the carpera. You can find this picture is the lateral eyebrow elevation, and uh, this picture show the eyelid ptosis. Mechanism of complications of botulinum toxin injection. The neurotoxin inhibits the release of acetylcholine. The complication is to paralyze adjacent muscles. Preventing complications of botulinum toxin injection is an important issue. You can see the picture. It's the central eyebrow ptosis and the lateral brow elevation. And the adverse events are transient and reversible. Above the eyebrow disorder, the lateral brow elevation, brow ptosis, and the eye disorders, the common is the ptosis, eyelid edema, the cremation increase, dry eye, muscle twitching, and the asinopia. It's the textbook. Anatomy is very important, so I translate the textbook into Chinese version. Mechanisms of facial wrinkles uh, is the botulinum rebalancing. The facial muscle uh, have the repetitive movement of facial muscles. Muscles are not separated by fascia. Muscles are attached to the dermis, balanced between muscles by laterally, upwardly, and downwardly. In the upper face, only one elevator it is the frontalis muscle. And the, all other muscle is the depressors, include the opicularis oculi muscle, corrugator, depressors, tuberculosis, and the procedures muscle. But you know, rebalancing is like the tuck of war. When you inject neurotoxin in this muscle, the muscle will become weak. Weaken the depressor lead to forehead lift and it's the depressor and it's the elevator. On the upper face muscle, we focus on frontalis muscle and the procedus muscle, corrugator muscle, depressor, supercity muscle, and the opicularis acura muscle. The common use neurotoxin doses in forehead muscle is about six units. The key point is to reduce the dose, multiple injection points, and uh, 0 0.4 unit per point. How to screen high risk patient of neurotoxin forehead wrinkle removal? Uh, first, uh, uh, more than 40 years old, eyelid touches, patients raising their eyebrow with frontalis muscle, thick eyelids, and a single eyelids. It's the movement of frontalis muscle after neurotoxin injection. I injected neurotoxin in the red point of the horizontal line. Two weeks after injecting neurotoxin, the immobile area in the middle horizontal area is due to the paralysis of frontalis muscle. We can see the video. Then, Let's talk about the grapeta from nine. Grapeta nines are created by three muscles, frontalis, procedus, corrugator, supercity muscles. It's the corrugator, supercity muscle. The label A is the corrugator, supercity muscle. And the uh, corrugator muscle have two belly, 
the applicability and the transverse value. It's the applicability is the transverse value. Carpena from lines are due to depressors muscle contraction. The figure A, the lines between the muscle, and the figure B, the lines perpendicular to the direction of each underlying muscle. In ancients, nasal applic every shoulder applic berry, inject medial part of corrugated superseding muscle. It's the injection points and the method. We inject here corrugator and the here depressor superseding and the procedure's muscle. And in Caucasian, they have the longer applic belly of the corrugator. So for Caucasian's injection points include above the bro in the middle pupillary line. Here, this is the uh, inject into the dermis, the mid pupillary line above the eyebrows. Complication of neurotoxin paper tosis is due to paralysis of debater paper brochipery, all this muscle. Here is the debater muscle here. And the mechanism of adiatosis. When treating the carabeta from line by injecting corrugator superficial muscle, Neurotoxin went through the orbital septum, spread to the divator palpebral superiorist muscle, and paralyzed it. With uh, the prevention of adiatosis, location of the injection, as superior as possible from the boundary of the orbital rim, the needle should be injected one centimeter, superior to the upper inner boundary of the orbital rim. Low dose Direction of the needle is toward the upper letter, slow velocity. The direction of the needle should point to the upper letter side. Position of the patients, there are no specific restriction. Direction injection through the supraorbital foramen leads to complication of neurotoxin is the idiotosis. It's the location of the supraorbital foramen and the, the divator muscle. Neurotoxin in adventory injected through the superorbital foramen, the diffusion of neurotoxin is as steep as the orbital apex. How to prevent upper idiotosis? Do not inject in or below the eyebrow, especially at the mid pupillary line. It's the complication about the palpebral tosis. It's the idiotosis after treatment and after treatment. How to prevent idiotosis? Michael droplet botulinum toxin A inject to dermis, reduce the dose, small volumes, inject into dermis, very superficial. The case result, what happened? Compatible. Lateral brow elevation, you can find that the lateral eyebrow elevation and is compared to the early days treatment method. The correction. The current image inject here and here. So we can see the correction can be treated performed by injecting Botox 1 to 2 U or this Botox 5 U into the more later frontalis fiber above the outer third of the eyebrow. The correction after injection here and here, two weeks after correction treatment here, become normal. It's the right side eyebrow elevation and we can treat it, inject here to correct it. And it's the right idiotosis. Uh, we can treat it with 0.5% uh, between eye drops. How to reduce unwanted paralysis and the diffusion? The set injection location for neurotoxin, we can injection here the label X 2.5 centimeter above the bone in orbit and injections the label X here one centimeter later two and above the orbital rim. How to prevent the Mephisto signs later eyebrow elevation additional neurotoxin injection of two to four U by laterally to the lateralmost point of the frontalis muscle. How to prevent Idiotosis, avoid injecting low and deep along the eyebrow. It's my presentation. Welcome to Taipei, Taiwan. Thank you for your attention.